So I played for Thatcham Tornadoes when I was younger. Uh, I was the only girl on the team and it was one of those where I turned up, got a few looks, but um, at the end of the season they voted me player's player, so I obviously uh, turned a few heads. I'm a Fulham fan um, and have been since probably like four or five years old. So when I was younger, I was a mascot for them and um, my favourite player was Paul Pesciolido, which everyone's probably like, can anyone remember who that is? But yeah, I just, I'd like to think that one of my main things is like I'm a hard worker and never give up. Um, and obviously like where he's a bit of a smaller player, like that was one of his big assets that he had. So I work full time. I work for, for the police. So it's quite a demanding, um, demanding job. I'm no longer front line. So it used to be like in terms of blues and twos responding to, to jobs, but now um, I'm what's called an evidential review officer. When a case is at the point of a decision being made, it will come to me. I'll review absolutely everything to do with that specific case. Um, and then I would be responsible for providing a full rationale as to whether they need to go to court, whether it doesn't carry on or whether it needs to go to a uh, prosecution service. What's it like um, balancing the two? It's tough. It's obviously something that I've had to do throughout like, my, my footballing career. Um, and I've, I've always sort of always had the travel aspect um, alongside all of that. Um, so it, it is tough like in terms of having to sometimes even choose football over like being able to see family and things. but. Ultimately, um, it's a commitment. It's something that I've always put 100% into. Um, I love playing football. I enjoy it. It's my passion. It's it's what I would love to do day in, day out. Um, and I think when you've got that that drive and, and, and that passion, as I said, it does mean that everything else, although it can sometimes be hard, but you just accept it and you, you deal with it as best you can. I mean, it's pretty obvious that my mum was scoring a goal at St Mary's and being able to knee slide um, afterwards. <laughs> I'm never going to forget that moment. I, like, even thinking about it, it like touches me a little bit because it, it was just such a great feeling and, and hence the celebration, like scoring at St Mary's for one and in front of the crowd, in front of my family. Um, it was just, yeah, really, really good, really good occasion and really good moment for me. Did you rehearse that celebration in your head before it came about? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, my fiancé said to me, he was like, um, I reckon you're going to score a worldie. And in my head, I was like, oh, if I do, I am definitely going to knee slide. Um, and there it was, I did it. <laughs> it's really nice to think that someone would consider um, me or anyone at the club as a role model. Um, funny enough, like not too long ago, um, Phoebe like, messaged me saying that when she was driving in Southampton, they came across um, like a young a young girl with um, a Saint shirt on with panting on the back, and like when she told me that, I was like, wow, that's that's amazing. Like it's so lovely that someone would even think I, I want to put panting on the back of um, my shirt. So it's nice to think that someone, um, especially the younger girls at the, the club or what have you look up to you um, and, and hopefully as the women's game keeps continuing to progress there'll be more and more um, role models out there um, which will be fantastic. Mm -hmm.